Hello, everybody, and welcome. Uh, this is Code Ward bringing you a tutorial on how to connect Casino Coin to your Ledger Nano device. I'm going to use the Ledger Nano S. And today, what we're going to do is add the Casino Coin trust line. And we're going to do a couple transactions using Casino Coin. Now, before we do get started, I do want to note first and foremost that right now Ledger Live does not support Casino Coin. So if you're going to add Casino Coin to your Ledger device, be aware that if you're going to transact, you will need to continue using XRP Toolkit for the Casino Coin token there. If you are connecting to Ledger Live, I do not believe you'll see Casino Coin there until they do update and start supporting XRPL tokens. Without further ado, let's get started. And so the first thing we'll do is go ahead and connect our wallet here. So as you can see, we do have a number of devices we can use here. And again, today we're going to use Ledger Nano S. So I'm gonna go through and connect my Ledger. Now it's gonna come up here saying that no devices have been found. You can actually bypass a couple of these steps by already having your Ledger connected and the XRP app selected. So what I'm gonna do here first is connect my uh, Ledger device to the computer. And it's gonna prompt me to put in my pin here. And once I've put in my pin, it's gonna have me select the XRP app here. And there we go. So I've selected the XRP app. And now the next thing I wanna do is go through, select the Nano S hit connect, and this is gonna retrieve the account information here. So now you can see here that I, I have connected and my address shows here along with the XRP in my account there. So you just wanna confirm that that is in fact your address and then we'll go ahead and hit connect here. So now, as you can see, we've officially connected to the uh, XRP toolkit interface here and we have our address, we have our XRP. Um, if you've claimed your Flare or your Spark token there, uh, you can see that over here on this side here. And so you'll also notice here that the reserve for my a wallet here is 20 XRP. Take note of that because we will readdress that in a few moments here once we've added the Casino Coin Trust line. So to add the Casino Coin Trust line, we're gonna go and add asset. And as you can see, I don't currently have any assets added here. So what we're gonna do is go down to the bottom under add asset. We're gonna go through here and select Casino Coin. Now by default, the limit here is 100 million Casino Coin, which I'm not sure about you, but for me, that's enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next here. And that's gonna prompt me to sign the transaction. So on my ledger device, I do have a prompt here saying that transaction type set trust line. So it'll go through and make me confirm the address there. It's also gonna advise me that the flags is set no on rippling, which is what we want. We do not want rippling on the casino coin trust line there. And it's going to also let us know that the limited amount is 100 million. Again, for myself, that's more than enough for this example. And so it does advise the issuer, which is a CSC man address. And that's just confirming that that is the issuer from Casino Coin and to confirm that it is Casino Coin providing that trust line there. The next thing is there is a fee of a 12 drops. Okay, which this is the standard XRP network fee. So we'll just go through and go ahead and sign that transaction by pressing both buttons at the top at the same time. Now on my device, it does say signing and we see that the trans transaction is being submitted and there we go, it has succeeded. So, or on the XRP interface here, we will see that the Casino Coin Trust line has been added. It does have a limit of 100 million Casino Coin. So you will only be able to receive a maximum of 100 million. 
again, for our example today, that's more than enough. So I'm going to go back to the assets overview here, or the account overview. And now for the next example here, I'm going to actually go ahead and open up some, and we're going to send over some casino coin today. So opening up some here, I'm just putting in my pin code, and then I'll tap on the casino coin asset, and then I'm going to tap send. And for today's example, I'm going to send 1000 casino coin over to our Ledger Nano device. Now, I will hit next. And then I'm going to paste my address. I'm going to hit next again and slide to send the transaction. At this point, it's going to prompt me to put in my passcode again and it's sending, verifying. And you'll notice here, as soon as it, there we go, the transaction's been submitted and we've already received the thousand casino coin. So now the other thing I wanted to know, as I mentioned previously in the video, is that my reserve was 20 XRP. You'll notice here now that it is 25 XRP. That is because each trust line added to an XRP account does reserve 5 XRP. So if we were to go through and add another asset, for example, like say Sologenic, if we were to add the Sologenic or trust line here, it would go through and reserve another 5XRP, bringing our reserve amount up to a total of 30. Okay, so now the next thing we're going to do is go through and transact with the casino coin here. As I mentioned previously, Ledger Live does not support XRPL tokens yet. Until they do, the only way to transact with your casino coin will be connecting to XRP Toolkit here. Okay, and so what we're going to do here is uh, send the thousand casino coin back to the address that we just sent it from. So we're going to go ahead and hit send here. Okay, and we're going to send that back to the address that it just came from. Okay, it does not need a destination tag as it is a personal account or a personal wallet there. So we're going to go through and send back the maximum amount, the thousand CSC that we have available. Now we're going to go ahead and hit next here, and that's going to prompt us to sign the transaction on our ledger device again. So it'll prop up here saying transaction type payment. We'll go through and hit next, which shows us that the sending account is our account here. So we'll go through and hit next, and it does confirm that the amount is 1000 CSC. And it shows us the issuer account for the casino coin trust line, which is right here. So it'll confirm this address here, and then it'll also confirm us the fee here, uh, once again, which is the XRPL network fee. And then it'll show us the destination account, which is the address that we're sending it back to here. So once we go through, we'll go ahead and sign the transaction on our ledger device by pressing both buttons at the top at the same time. And you'll see a message saying signing. Once again, the uh, transaction will be submitted, and here it has succeeded. So now if we go back to our account here, we no longer have Casino Coin in our ledger device. And again, our reserve here is 25 XRP. So what you'll see here is we're going to go through and actually remove that trust line. So you can also remove trust lines from your ledger device as well. Now the transaction type will say set trust line, even though we are removing it, it is a trust set transaction. And it'll confirm the account that we're removing the trust line from. Again, it'll confirm the issuer account of the RCSC man address, which is the casino coin issuing account. It'll also confirm us the XRP network fee. And then we'll just go ahead and sign that transaction there by pressing both buttons at the top at the same time. Now with that signed, we see the transaction submitting here. And within just a moment, our transaction has succeeded and we no longer have that trust line added to our account. Now, if we go back to the overview, we do see that the casino coin trust line is gone. And you'll also notice that the five XRP that was tied up for the reserve has also been released.
Alrighty. So that there is adding the casino coin trust line to your ledger device, transacting with the casino coin, and also removing the trust line if you ever decide to in future. If you do have any questions, I am available on Discord via casinocoin.chat. I'm also available on Twitter via at CodeWard1. Thank you for tuning in. And this has been an example of putting Casino Coin on your ledger device. Thank you.